So the dust has settled now and I have been using this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL from about 3 weeks now and here is how this device compares against this uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max over here and now this video is particularly for the people who are Apple users because I know that there are a lot of Apple users who do shift to the Google Pixel devices and here is my honest opinion and my honest review about the very same thing because I know that there are not a lot of Samsung users who love to switch to the Google Pixel devices and after using almost every flagship device in the past few years I can say that why the Samsung users they do not want to switch to the Google Pixel devices over here but hey that is another conversation for another video because today in this video we are looking at both of these devices over here now I think that this comparison over here is much necessary as just take a look at this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and see how similar this thing is to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. In fact, both of these devices are so similar in the terms of the dimensions and the looks that if you are looking them from the front with the displays turned off, you would not be able to recognize that which one of these is the iPhone 15 Pro Max and which one is the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and this is something an achievement because yes they did nail the design on this all new Google Pixel 9 Pro XL even though that they did copy a lot of things from this iPhone 15 Pro Max but yet again this camera visor on the back it is new and it does not look like iPhone 15 Pro Max and that is something that I would say that this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL it is actually a better looking device than this iPhone 15 Pro Max and that is saying something about these devices over here but now if you look at the design of this thing you would also notice that the dimensions again that are similar but also the weight of both of these devices is similar as well I do not think so that this is a coincidence but do let me know in the comment sections below that if you think the same thing over here or no but again now if you look at the sides of this device this aluminium frame you will notice that both of these devices have these volume buttons on the same side along with now you also have the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro Max but the other side of this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL it does not have anything over here which is again something that I like but the iPhone 15 Pro Max you have got this power button on the other side as you can see over here I would just want this uh, side over here on the iphone 15 pro max to be completely plain just like what we have on this google pixel 9 pro xl which again as i said before is a good thing but now if you will notice that the google pixel 9 pro xl it has got this millimeter wave antenna on the top of this uh, device over here but this is something that is not present on the iphone 15 pro max and also the sides on both of these smartphones are much more squared edges and i just do not like uh, the in-hand feel on both of these devices because they do start to hurt after some time but i would just love to use this iphone 15 pro max and the only reason behind this is this titanium frame because of this matte finish i think so that this device is much more comfortable to hold but now again i love the in-hand feel of the google pixel 8 pro better than this google pixel 9 pro xl just if you wanted to know but another difference on this google pixel 9 pro xl is that the display of this device is largely better than what you have got on this iphone 15 pro max and that is not just because of the brightness that we get on this google pixel 9 pro xl but it is also because of the color reproduction on this google pixel 9 pro xl is better than what you have got on the iphone 15 pro max now i was looking at this mkbhd video on my google pixel 9 pro xl and at the same time i opened the same video on this iphone 15 pro max and you could just tell that the colors are not very good on the iphone 15 pro max they are a bit more on to the warmer tone which is not the issue with this google pixel 9 pro xl and again something that i am just enjoying about this device over here but another difference on this google pixel 9 pro xl is that the uh, peak brightness on this display is 3000 nits versus the 2000 nits of peak brightness on this iPhone 15 Pro Max. This Google Pixel 9 Pro XL it is again an LTPO display and it is again a 6.8 inches super actual display that is what Google likes to call it versus the super retina XDR display on this iPhone 15 Pro Max that is again a 6.7 inches. Both of this display that does support the 120 hertz of refresh rate that is again something that is common with almost every flash 
black shape and there you have it on both of these smartphones as well but now the other thing that i want to talk about this google pixel 9 pro xl is really the performance and this is one place where this google pixel 9 pro xl it really lags behind this iphone 15 pro max and i am not just talking about the raw benchmarks on this device because again i do not care about the benchmarks but what i really see in these smartphones over here is that how well they perform against each other and that is where i just feel that this google pixel 9 pro xl is not up to my expectations and i'm talking about some general tasks that i try to perform on this smartphone over here just like taking a photograph on this google pixel 9 pro xl and opening it and it does take a long time to process the photograph on this pixel but the same thing is very much instant on the iphone 15 pro max or when you try to switch between the cameras on the iphone it is again a very smooth animation when you switch between the different cameras while you are taking a video but this is not the same case with this uh, google pixel 9 pro xl that is again something that i did not like or when you try to scroll through your Instagram feed, you will notice that there is a lag on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL or even it is the same thing on YouTube and all the other applications that you try to scroll through this device over here and the same lag is just not there on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and that is all after the fact that we know that this iPhone 15 Pro Max is almost one year old and this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is the latest one and still it is a very slow device in comparison to this iPhone 15 Pro Max and even when I try to test this thing against the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, it was even slower than that. And even I just looked after a few benchmarks from my older device that was with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And I would just say it is almost near to that thing over there. And that means that this device is very, very slow. Now, also, the RAM and the storage on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL are slower than what you have got on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And even though that you have got 8GB of RAM on this iPhone 15 Pro Max, that is again 50% of what you have got on this Google Pixel 8 Pro XL. It is again still a slower device and even the 16GB of RAM is not just the thing because 3GB of RAM is just assigned to the AI task. But you still have got 13GB of RAM on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL which is again more than this 8 gigabyte of ram on this iphone 15 pro max and you already know that this iphone 15 pro max is already something that is ready for ai we have seen the beta version of the very same thing in the united states this is not really available in canada but i again think that the features on this iphone 15 pro max in the terms of ai they might be a bit more fun than what you have on this google pixel 9 pro xl which is again something to say because this device is specifically based on the ai thing which means that the android software on this google pixel 9 pro xl is basically very much dependent on the gemini air things and again i would come on to all the things in this video but i would just say a lot of things on these devices are just gimmick but the way that apple is handling all the air features i think is a bit more better than what you have got on this google pixel 9 pro xl for example the apple intelligence is much more integrated to the apple os because even though that if you are getting prompted to a third party application just like chat gpt apple would prompt you and ask you if you just want to share the information with the third party application or no but otherwise most of the tasks are just done on the phone itself and that means that this thing over here is plenty powerful but on the other side the google pixel 9 pro xl it is just a big mess because you have got more than one ai assistant on this thing over here just like you have got the gemini ai along with the gemini advanced also you have got the google assistant and also the ai particular applications just like the pixel screenshot application over here and that means that the whole experience is just broken and it is into parts and pieces and it just feels like that this google pixel 9 pro xl is just not ready for ai and everything is just unpaid on this device over here but now as we are comparing ai on both of these smartphones you should know that the iphone 16 series would be here in a few days but you would get a lot of the features on the iphone 16 series that are the same features that you will get on this iphone 15 pro max and iphone 15 pro but again a lot of these features are still available on the iphone 15 pro and the 15 pro max if you are in the us market and if you are on the ios 18.1 beta so yes again 
The features would be available on the iPhone 16 series, but I could just not talk about all these features. But let me talk about some exclusive features on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL that I just want to talk about first before getting into the AI features on this iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. And there are some amazing features on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. A few of them are in the camera and a few of them are just some of the exclusive features on this uh, system level on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, just like the add me feature on this device that allows you to add back uh, yourself into a group photograph or that new weather application that gives you a summary of the weather or that new reimagine as feature that is as the name suggests helps you to create an entirely different image from what you already have and this is again a very deep one because all you need to uh, do is that you just need to select over the area and you just need to give a prompt to create an entirely new image for you but we also have some other features on this UI just like the pixel studio feature to be able to create a new image from a text prompt and also we have got some camera specific features just like the zoom enhance feature along with the video boost feature and also a 8K upscaling that is again something that is standard on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and something that I'm enjoying on this device over here. But now the experience of using AI on this iPhone 15 Pro Max may be a bit more fun than what we have really got on this Pixel 9 Pro XL because even though that there are a lot of features on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, a lot of them are just gimmick just like the Pixel Studio feature or the Pixel Screenshot feature that basically allows you to just search any kind of screenshot that you already have in your screenshot gallery over there it just indexes and it just searches with the help of the indexes that it already created and also gives some of the website link but i just do not think so that there would be a lot of people who would be utilizing these kind of features over here but on the iphone you have got some amazing features just like making the i messages a bit more fun by this ability to create the new emojis on the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the iMessages or you can also use the AI inside of the mail application to help you write an email or you can use the on device categorization that organizes the emails according to the different categories for example the shopping the spam and so much so and also you can use the uh, reduce interruption feature to be able to uh, use it as a new focus mode on iOS 18.1 that basically uses the artificial intelligence to show you the notifications that require the immediate attention such as a text message indicating that you have an urgent appointment with a doctor and putting everything else on a silent mode and that is again something that is amazing you have also got some of the newer features like the new updated city and also you have got this gent moji feature for the conversation over here you can use the very same thing in the i messages to make it more personal and a bit more fun you can also use them as a sticker or something i'm not too sure about this completely but this is something that might be possible in the future if not as of filming this video right now now again i did not test all of these features because these are not available in the beta version in the canadian market but it will be soon when these features will be available and i can just imagine that how better of these features would be in comparison to what you have on this google pixel devices over here but again the google pixel 9 pro excel is in another league just because of all the ai features in the camera just again like the zoom enhance feature or also the 8k upscaling and the add me feature on this device over here but let us just take a look at the general camera hardware on this google pixel 9 pro xl versus what we have got on this iphone 15 pro max now this google pixel 9 pro xl has got a triple camera sensor with the primary camera sensor to be a 50 megapixel f1.8 aperture camera and then you have got this secondary camera sensor that is again an ultra wide sensor and it is a 48 megapixel f1.7 aperture camera sensor over here and the third camera sensor is again a 48 megapixel camera sensor but this one over here is basically again a f2.8 aperture for taking the portrait shots over there and also it will have some of the greatest features on this google pixel 9 pro xl just like the super s zoom and also the optical zoom on this device over here as well but if you compare this thing with the iphone 15 pro max you would feel like the cameras on the iphone 15 pro max are not on the par but that is not the case over here now again this iphone 15 pro max has got a main 48 megapixel camera sensor that is f1.78 aperture with a second generation the sensor shift optical image stabilization technology along with a 12 megapixel 5x telephoto camera with an f2.8 aperture and also there is another 
12 megapixel camera that again I think is around f1.8 or something aperture and that is again an ultra wide camera sensor but again these camera sensors are not 48 megapixels on all the three cameras over here but that technically does not mean that the iPhone 15 Pro Max has got a inferior camera because in my test results almost in every situation I was able to find out that the camera on this iPhone 15 Pro Max is a better one and most of the times the photographs that came out of this Pixel 9 Pro XL in the daylight were better than what you got on the iPhone 15 Pro Max with a lot more better HJ content along with better highlights and better shadows but the moment you switch to the portrait mode on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL the edge detection on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is not as good as what you have got with this iPhone 15 Pro Max and even I compared the very same thing with this Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 over here that is again not as powerful of a camera but the results on this uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 were better in the portrait shot in comparison to this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL over here. Now this does not again means that this is again a better camera because it is good in the daylight condition because I was able to again find out in a lot of the low light videographs or the photographs on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL that the videos and the photographs that come straight out of this camera in the low lighting condition are not as good as what you get with iPhone 15 Pro Max but you can use all the night side feature and the image enhancement feature and all the good and tricky AI features on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL to make the video better than this iPhone 15 Pro Max in the low lighting conditions and the same is with the photographs and also you can upscale as well but the same thing is not possible on this iPhone 15 Pro Max but I would say the difference is not much and whatever this iPhone 15 Pro Max is able to do raw without any help of the AI on this device over here is again better and I would say miles better than what this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is able to do so something that I just wanted to share over here as well now again another thing that I noticed on the cameras of this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is that the cameras are a bit more wider than what you have got on this iPhone 15 Pro Max and again I took a lot of shots in the uh, 30x zoom on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and every shot that I took out of this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL with 30x of zoom it was better than this 25x of zoom that what we got on this iPhone 15 Pro Max but again something that is personal preference over here I do not know a lot of people who would just zoom to 30x or even 10x in my opinion but something that you know that is available on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and again you can just use this uh, feature with the image enhanced feature to be able to enhance the images on the billboard that are like 30x away from you and again something that is not available on this iPhone 15 Pro Max but now another great thing about this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is the 42 megapixel selfie camera on this device and this means that the HDR processing on this is much more better than what you had from the Google Pixel 8 Pro from the last year and also I can say that this is better than most of the devices that I have used but it is not much more improved than what you have got on this iPhone 15 Pro Max and even though that this 42 megapixel camera sensor is much more wider than what you have got on this iPhone 15 Pro Max I still think so that this uh, iPhone 15 Pro Max they take better selfie than what you have got on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL but again these are just what I am able to see and recognize from my eyes I will just have all those photographs in front of you and you could be a better judge that what is a better photograph for you and you can just let me know in the comment sections below as well that which photograph that you like the best from here. Now that brings me to the battery on this iPhone 15 Pro Max versus this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and again on paper it seems like that this iPhone 15 Pro Max it has got a smaller battery in comparison to what you have got on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and which is again a true case because the battery size of this iPhone 15 Pro Max is 4441 mAh versus this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL that has got a 5060 mAh battery and in my test it showed that the iPhone 15 Pro Max just excels in the terms of the battery life and even though that the battery health on my phone is not at its 100% it is just 93% I am still getting about 9 hours of an average uh, on screen time on this iPhone 15 Pro Max and that is again something that I am not getting on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL because the screen on time at least for me on this device is about 7 hours 
which is not a cane one of the worst and one of the best one but i would still take it against what we were getting from the google pixel 8 pro from the last year now again the last thing that i want to talk about on both of these devices is gaming because i know a lot of people would want to know about this thing over here as well now the gaming on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is not very good and that is just because of this uh, G4 Tensor chip on this device along with the slower memory because the read and the write speed on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL in the terms of the memory is not as good as what you have got on this iPhone 15 Pro Max that again has got a better A17 Pro Bionic chip and it is way much more faster than what you have got on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL with this Tensor G4 chip which is again one of the biggest disappointments at least for me on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL because otherwise this device over here is a really capable device in comparison to what you have again got on this iPhone 15 Pro Max but again the performance is not just the winner point of this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL and in a lot of games that I played on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL especially the Genshin Impact and also the PUBG I could just see a lot of frame drops on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL versus this iPhone 15 Pro Max which was just fine in any game that I just view at it and that is again after the fact that this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL has actually got a thermal solution uh, to be able to dissipate the heat and that is basically not the same thing with my iPhone 15 Pro Max but one another thing that I just forgot to mention in this video is the charging speeds on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL versus iPhone 15 Pro Max and even though this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL it has got a 37 watt of charging which basically should have been 45 watt of charging as what Google stated but in my test I just get 37 watt of charging on this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL which is still faster than my iPhone 15 Pro Max and that brings me towards the end of this video I think that both of these devices are really one of the best devices that you can buy in the market right now but the only thing that just keeps me away from recommending this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is really this G4 Tensor chip along with a hefty price tag of about 1850 Canadian dollars on a 256 gigabyte of variant that is again just too much and for the same price I would just recommend to add 100 more dollar and just purchase the iPhone 16 Pro Max in a few days or even you can just buy the Google Pixel 9 that is the base variant and that would again do most of the things that this Google Pixel 9 Pro XL is able to do or even you can just buy the Google Pixel 8 Pro from the last year or even you can buy like a huge Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or a huge iPhone 15 Pro Max that might be again a better deal in my opinion and well that was all that I wanted to share in this video my name is Anshul. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.